hello friends and welcome to youtube channel food and tech and in this session what we are going to learn in this session we are going to detect construction site safety means their safety jacket and their safety helmet using yellow 12 we are going to create our own custom object detection model which detect construction site workers safety so before we move to our practical friends if you learn something from our videos please consider to subscribe our channel okay friends thank you so much and let's get started so friends as i mentioned today we will detect construction site workers safety jacket and their safety helmet we are going to create our own custom object deduction model using yellow 12 the base model simple so for that i have created new repository i will mention the link simply copy paste the link inside web browser then we have to just go to the code and click on download zip it will download our zip format repository as you can see it's now downloading so we downloaded our repository just uh, minimize all these things and open download folder this is what our repository right click and just click on extract all it will extract our repository that's it and we have our folder yellow 12 construction site safety main so this is what our video file so let's just first watch our video file so friends as i mentioned as you can see uh, this is the construction site and we have here workers uh, they have their own safety jackets and the helmet so our goal is to detect the safety jacket and their safety helmet using yellow 12 custom object detection model so this is what our video file as simple as okay so for that uh, we will use RoboFlow because with the help of RoboFlow now it is really easy to annotate the images simple so we will send the video file to RoboFlow so let's just open our RoboFlow just create the account and then click on new project mention yellow 12 or any project name here you can mention any object just this is basically the annotation group name so I will mention object just a group name and then we will select object detection bounding boxes click on create public project it will create our project and then we want to uh, we want to upload here our file video file so just click on select file repository inside that we have our helmet.mp4 the video file and now it uploading the file but it will first we have to mention how many images we want so let's just say for this project basically this is the demo project so 57 images is more than enough so i will simply mention here uh, let's just say 60 60 images so 60 and click on choose frame rate now it will capture 60 images from the video file itself so we have our uh, images click on save and continue So we have now our images just click on start labeling assign to myself and it will assign the images start annotating and now we are ready and we are going to annotate our object. So let's just say first I want to annotate with this which is basically the uh, safety jacket simple so just click on it and then as you can see there is no uh, window there is a window where we want to mention the label so what we can do simply just for just draw the rectangle and then right click and delete it and now again draw we have to select this tool bounding box tool as you can see the bounding box tool for selecting the object so just select it and then you will see this annotation editor here now we want to create our class so our first class is basically safety safety jacket okay safety jacket and then just click on a uh, create because we want to create the class so create the class now it's created the safety jacket class now let's just draw here one more safety jacket simple so just save it now we want to uh, draw the rec rectangle on basically the helmet 
so i will draw on here this is what the helmet okay so this is what helmet and this is the new class so safety jacket and we will mention safety helmet simple and then just click on create class it will create a new class safety helmet red color rectangle so let's just draw over here okay and just click on save so now we have safety helmet class and safety jacket but we want to draw the rectangle on each person for that we will use this tool box prompting ai labeling okay so you have to first select your class so draw the rectangle on let's just say i have draw it uh, for safety helmet i have draw it two rectangle and for safety jacket i have draw it two rectangle now we will automate the process with the help of this tool ai labeling just select it select it now it will search what we mention the class and it will automatically detect our object as you can see it's detected the safety jacket and helmet also now click on approve and we have here predictions as you can see there is a helmet safety jacket helmet safety jacket it is automatically select the class which you want to detect you have to only first draw two rectangles means just draw two rectangle on the class uh, let's just say i have draw here two uh, helmet rectangle and two safety jacket rectangles using the bounding box tool and then i have select the ai labeling which will automatically detect the class which you want to use which you basically choose so go for next and from from here now it will automatically select as you can see it here it is also as you can see there is a safety jacket and there is a safety helmet it will automatically detect the the class which you want to annotate okay so just approve it as you can see safety jacket and safety helmet it is automatically selected because of the ai labeling tool that's why if you want to if you want to just quickly annotate all these images use roboflow so now go for next image again it will search and then we have result just selected done simple so this is how i will annotate all the 59 images and then again i will start the video so friends as you can see we completed our annotation process this is what the last image now just click on yellow 12 our project name and here you will see the unannotated images are zero means we successfully annotated all the 59 images click on add 59 images to data set click on add images it will add our images okay let's just close that this is basically their ad and then just close it because we add our data set 59 images okay now just click on versions and then first we will split images so train test split edit click on rebalance and we will add some images into valid and then test okay enough click on save then click on continue then click on continue for pre-processing then click on continue and then click on create it will create our uh, it will create basically our data set now uh, we need our collab file so i have mentioned the collab file let me first open the google collab so friends i have opened google collab click on upload click on browse and go to the repository downloads yellow 12 construction inside that i have mentioned yellow 12 object detection uh, custom object detection collab file so now it's uploading our file on our collab machine so we successfully uploaded our file now just go to the runtime change runtime type select python 3 select t4 gpu click on save and then click on connect so we successfully connected now we will run our cell one by one so first cell then the next cell for installing the ultralytics on google collab machine so friends we successfully install ultralytics so scroll down the next cell and we will import our packages 
and then now we will cross check if ultralytics is perfectly installed for that we will use yellow12s.pt model and we will detect the object simple we will uh, we will use doc.jpg image from roboflow and it will use yellow12s.pt model and it will detect the object so from this image we have one car we have one dock and we have one handbag so it means our ultralytics is perfectly installed now a uh, custom trading so here we want to mention our code from roboflow so just open our roboflow where we left so this is the patch where we left and here we want to click on download data set select the data set and the txt format which is the latest format yellow 12 then select show download code click on continue and it will show the download code for a uh, google collab machine So this is what our code as you can see from roboflow so just copy from roboflow to yolo 12 copy it come to the google collab and this is the from to roboflow yolo 12 old code so just select it from to yolo 12 delete it and press ctrl plus v it will paste it will paste the new code which we copy it from here roboflow just run the cell it will create data set directory and inside that data set directory it will uh, it will basically paste the folder and train test valid and data.yml file we have done now if you click on this small folder icon here will be you see there is a data set folder just scroll down yellow 12 this is what our project name test train valid data.yml file double click on it and the file will be open here this is what our class as you can see safety helmet and safety jacket so train val test here we want to mention the real path of these three folders so first one is train go to the train and you here you will see there is a three dot click on it copy path and remove the old path from data.yml Control plus v it will paste val means valid three dot copy path remove the old path from data.yml file Control plus v paste it then test so test is over here three dot copy path remove the old path control plus v that's it now we have changed the path of train well test now we want to save the file so just click on control s it will save our data.yml file scroll down and this is the main code where we start our training so data.yml is the file so data is equal to this is the path of our data.yml so this is basically old path so we want to mention our new path so go to the data.yml again you will see there is a three dot select it copy path and remove the data is equal to the old path of the file and control plus v it will paste the new path of data.yml file 100 epochs image size 640 just click on it and it will start our training So friends as you can see our training is started it will take some time so let me pause video so friends we completed our training process as you can see safety helmet and safety jacket so our model is saved inside runs detect and folder so just click on this small folder icon go to the runs detect train then inside that train we have weights then base.pt this is what our model click on three dot download and it will download our object deduction model the custom object deduction model so you successfully downloaded our model as you can see now let's just close all these things and open file manager downloads this is the model right click right click cut it move the model inside our repository paste it and just open test dot uh, test dot py our uh, code main code and here we want to mention video file name which is helmet.mp4 helmet.mp4 simple it will use best.pt our model and go to the tools manage packages open cv hyphen python open cv hyphen python first package click on install button done it will install opencv hyphen python then we need ultralytics ultralytics 
hit enter first package click on install button done it will install ultra text there is upgrade if there is a upgrade highlighted just click on upgrade button it will upgrade with the latest ultra text package done so this is the basic code we have here object detection method from ultra text and then we will detect the rectangle that's it now let's just run the code and friends as you can see it's detected uh, is detecting basically the safety helmet simple there is a safety helmet and uh, let me show you here one more things because i have mentioned here a class is zero so it will only showing the first class which is the safety helmet so let's just remove the classes name and now uh, now it will show both classes also what we will do we will change the color so let's make it uh, pink so now as you can see there is a safety helmet also and there is a safety jacket here it is uh, as you can see we have a uh, safety helmet and there is a safety jacket also so what i will do here it is as you can see it says the safety jacket so what we can do here uh, we can simply create a condition let's just say if if uh, we have safety helmet okay so if safety hyphen helmet in label if a uh, safety helmet label this is what our class name then we will uh, we will draw the rectangle hmm? and then we will uh, change the rectangle color so if there is a safety helmet we will go with the blue color we will go with the blue color and if there is a if there is a safety jacket so we can simply say a leaf a leaf safety jacket a leaf safety jacket uh, we will go with the color green so green is basically 0 255 255 0 0 255 0 and now let's just cross check okay there is a there is a there is error because the code is not in line so let me check the line here it is as you can see the elif is not in line so i want to go little back and now it's in line as you can see it's in line simple now let's just save the code and if i run the code so friends as you can see uh, there is a there is blue color rectangle on on the helmet the safety helmet and there is green color rectangle on the jacket simple so now what i will do for our knowing purpose let's just stop the class name which we put on the rectangle then you will get the idea now i will start a while loop also now it's perfect we are detecting safety helmet we are detecting safety jacket also for construction side workers simple so i hope you will learn something from this video we will meet our next video till then thank you take care and bye bye